Calculus, the intimidating math that makes every student dread taking the course. I've taken it for two years. After piles of homework, I wondered, what is the point? What can we use calculus for in real life? That's when I discovered the Gompertz equation, made by the lovely Benjamin Gompertz. The Gompertz equation is a modification of a logistic differential equations used to model population growth. It was discovered that the Gompertz growth law was a good fit for calculating the growth of tumors. Imagine you have cancer. Morbid topic, I know, but hear me out. You have a malignant tumor inside of you, and your doctor wants to know when your tumor has stopped growing and when it's growing at its fastest rate. This is because treatment has its maximum effect when maximum growth is occurring. So how can we figure this out? And I know what you're thinking. 1.200133 centimeters. Instead of going through all that work, we use the Gompertz equation, which looks like this. G of W equals W times B minus A times a natural log of W, where W is the weight of the tumor in milligrams, and A and B are constants from your data. A tumor is growing most rapidly when the derivative is equal to zero. A derivative is the rate of change of a function. In order to find the derivative of this function, we need the product rule of derivatives. This is the product rule of derivatives. It is used when you multiply two functions together when you're deriving. It becomes f times the derivative of g plus the derivative of f times g. Here's a quick example of the product rule using the function x ln of x. To derive this function, we need to recognize that these two are being multiplied by each other and start using our rule. So we take the derivative of the first and multiply it by the second. Then we add that to the first multiplied by the derivative of the second. This would bring us to the natural log of x plus 1, and that is our derivative using the product rule. Pretty simple, right? So let's apply it to the growth function. We know that the maximum growth rate occurs when the derivative is equal to zero. So let's try that. The derivative of our growth function would look like this. Given that our a is equal to 0 0.02 and our b is equal to 0 0.2, we can plug in the values to solve for w. We can use our new w to plug into the original equation. Now you can calculate your tumor's maximum growth rate so you can be treated and cancer-free in no time.